Yeah, feeling really confident. Uh, I think the boys definitely took a lot of confidence out of the weekend. Uh, obviously, didn't get the two wins, got the one win, but um, yeah, just the improvement from game one to game two, I think uh, got a lot of confidence to take into the doubleheader this weekend. You're playing with a lot of those younger 18 year olds who are really taking on more of a leader mentorship role. Um, how do you do that? Yeah, it's been a great, a great challenge for me. Um, just, yeah, like you say, becoming more of a leader um, on and off the court. Um, and yeah, it's kind of what's expected of me this year. Obviously, we've, we've lost a few uh, guys, a few leadership guys, um, and obviously didn't have JB on the weekend as well. So um, it was an area that I've been wanting to step up in, and, and now I get to do it. So yeah, it's been awesome. What do you see your biggest threat against you? Look at the Ballarat lineup. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had a, had too much of a look at the Ballarat lineup. Um, I know the Knox the Knox boys have got uh, Pete Ling. Uh, who I played with uh, at Melbourne United. He's a he's a hard nosed, hard working player, and, and I'm sure he'll give us some problems. Um, yeah, need to need to lock in on the scout a little bit more, I think. Are you um, still enjoying your time with, with the Hobart Chargers? You obviously moving on from Tasmania for the NBL season, so you're really hoping to get a win before you leave Tasmania. Yeah, absolutely. Always the goal is to win. Um, and to answer your question, yeah, I'm I'm still loving it here. Um, I kind of, I guess, still wanted to stay in Hobart just to, to, to still be in Tasmania and to, um, I guess, tie up loose ends, I guess, and, and, and get ready for my move. So, um, yeah, it's been great. Uh, Stewie's been great. The team's been great. Uh, looking forward to uh, the challenge of, of being more of a leader and hopefully coming out the, end of the other side of it with some wins. How are you feeling after the back injury? Do you feel like you're back in the form now or you still got a little way to go? Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely getting there. I'm feeling really good on the court. Um, you know, like you said, just coming back from injury, I've had a lot of time now to put into my body and and, um, and do the right things to, to feel good. And now it's just about a bit more of a rhythm thing, I think, um, playing the games and, and just getting a feel for um, what I have to do for this Chargers team. Um, we'll take a few more games, I think, but um, definitely on the right track. Wins worth their way to goal. What would it mean to the team to get back to back this weekend? Oh, it would mean everything, um, you know, to, to then be above 500 and, and start the season off uh, more positively than, you know, the first two games went, I think would be uh, incredible for the team's uh, confidence, the young guys' confidence. Um, and, yeah, obviously, winning's always better than losing. How have you seen the 18-year-olds? Obviously, most of us have it. How have you seen their improvement? Obviously, you're now a mentor. How have you seen their improvement over the years? Yeah, it's been, uh, it, it was like night and day, the first, uh, the, the Saturday night game compared to the to the Sunday afternoon game. Um, you know, maybe they didn't think that they were going to be required as much in that first game, and then they were, and maybe they weren't as ready for it as they should have been. But then that second game, I think they knew that you know they were going to have to take shots, they were going to have to make plays, and um, you know the ball was going to be in their hands as well as mine and, and Devon's. Um, so now that they know that, I think that they should um, definitely take a lot of confidence in from from last weekend. You just said that the team can't really improve at the moment. Not necessarily. Uh, you know, I think uh, fingers crossed. I think we get JB back uh, this weekend, which will be another leader, another guy who's been in the NBL, and, and will be another voice out there for us. Um, in terms of not being able to improve, I think we can always improve, and um, you know, the guys will, will fit more into their roles as the season uh, progresses. And um, yeah, I think I think we can uh, we can win a lot of games this year. Uh, I haven't spoken to him um, in the last few days. Um, from what I've heard, he's he's doing really well and feeling really well. And he had a practice with us last week, uh, and he was looking looking like he was ready to go. So you know, if it was up to me, I would assume that he would be ready. But um, yeah, not 100% sure.